Hello everybody, today we're going to show you how to upgrade your SSD in a gateway. This is 15.6. This one comes with the i5 11th gen, 512 SSD, 16 gig of RAM, uh, Windows 10 Home. So this is a fast computer for like all the basic needs if you need like watch YouTube or like do like anything except for gaming or like complicated video editing. This computer is fine. It's going to be fast. You know, it's, it's going to be good. Like you pretty much don't need anything better than that because i5 11th gen is good enough. And uh, even 8 gig of RAM is fine. Like 16 is like more than enough. I'm not a big fan of Gateway brand. Um, they're not the most reliable, but uh, they're a good price for the for these specs. So this one sometimes goes for 300 on sale. Whereas like, you know, HP, Dell, Lenovo, they would never go even for 400 on sale with the specs as of now. I probably reviewed or unboxed similar ones. I'm gonna go real quick. This is what we have inside. Some manual, charger, and a laptop. This one is green. They can be like green, black, blue, uh, silver. Here, here we have a slot for SSD, just two screws, Let's take it out and you can put another SSD and not a SATA SSD, you can put a fast one here, you can see here, right, you need to take off this thing and then uh, put SSD and then put it back, pretty simple. We're going to go a little bit further and try to see uh, the SSD that is inside and see if we can actually upgrade RAM in here, if you need more than 16 gig. HDMI, USB-C, USB-A, power, Kensington lock. It says ultra slim. I mean, it's kind of average. I mean, it's not thick. Uh, SD card. Headphone input, another USB-A, so it's pretty good, you have everything. We unscrewed everything here, and now I'm trying to figure out how to uh, take it apart. We don't have anything underneath uh, these things. Yes. So I guess we just have to figure how to get in there. I can put my nails in there. So I put my nails in there and pulled it a bit harder and I was able to uh, get it opened, Woohoo! just like that. I tried it with a few other gateways and I was always kind of scared and just didn't continue. But, you know, just pull a little bit harder. Anyway, I don't really suggest doing anything of that. Because as for the RAM, it has 16 gig of RAM, which is enough for everything. And um, you can put another SSD here and keep this one for Windows. And put here 1 to 4 terabyte. So mm, you have an easy way to upgrade what you need. And you don't really need to upgrade anything else. Let's see here. So this is the SSD in here, right? If you decide to put uh, a faster one here, if you want to have just one, or if you want like the, the fastest one for Windows, you can just upgrade this one. Let's see what else we got in here. Trying to see where we have the RAM. What are these chips here? I don't know what this, these are. Might be soldered RAM, I'm not sure. Here we have CPU underneath over there, obviously. Uh, and we have these covering something. Hmm, maybe I try to unscrew this and see over there. And there is a battery. Can it be something behind the battery? Possibly, right? I'm gonna check. This is the battery. So four screws. 
and we have connectors here. Now this is the way to change the battery, right? So there was one more here, five screws. You can just take a look. And uh, what do we have here? Uh, I'm not sure. Anyway, there is no RAM in here. It's not underneath the battery. I kind of suspect that those, these two chips are something. Hmm. We're gonna take a look underneath here. See what this can be. Otherwise, I do not see where the RAM is. Just to show you how to change the battery. There's a, it's a common issue with gateways. Battery and ability to charge the battery. So, by the way, the one that's inside is different. It's with the two things over here and over there. And the one you can uh, put the second one is with the one thing. So it's like different one, different kind. This thing is kind of clipped with these things. So I'm not gonna go further than that. Um, I believe I can conclude that you can safely put another SSD and if you want a little bit more complicated, you can switch this one to another one. But I think it's a good idea to have like this 512 just for Windows or some programs and stuff. And uh, this is uh, add this one just for your data. So you reinstall Windows, you wipe this out completely and uh, you know, reinstall Windows and all your data just stays here on the second one. And I wouldn't waste money to invest into better this one. So just, you know, it's a cheap computer after all. It's good for the money. Um, it's fast for the money, I would say. So, yeah. That's how it is inside. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Let me just push it back like this. Nicely, right? I don't want to break anything. It's, it was much harder to take it apart, but when you push it back, it all clips. By the, by the way, now you can kind of see that... Uh, focus, if my phone can focus, okay? That someone was like doing something in here, because now it's like a little bit bigger gap in here than it was. It felt so solid before.